What's going on everybody? It's Frito for your Overwatch here to give you almost a PSA, a public service announcement about the alternate game mode in Overwatch, which you may have not been brave enough to venture into because it seems a little goofy when you read the rule set and it's something really abstract. It feels like you're jumping into the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese or something. A little too goofy for your tastes, maybe. But I'm here to tell you that you need to go ahead and jump in that ball pit because <laughs> it's a whole lot of fun. And I think the way Blizzard should be branding the Weekly Brawl is something for the less try-hardy amongst the community because, honestly, even though Quick Match, you would assume has a more light-hearted feel, it's not a ranked version or anything, it's still pretty competitive of a game mode. And I personally love the fact that Blizzard has enough fun in their hearts to allow a mode like this to exist. So, what am I playing right here? Weekly Brawl has a rotation of rule sets. So I think during the beta they had all random heroes, which admittedly probably isn't that much fun especially if you're trying to learn specific things uh, it's probably more punishing than helpful uh, as a player like me who can play all heroes now is going to excel because no matter who i spawn with i'm pretty comfortable with whereas a mode like this which is arcade mode is better for just about anybody even very low skill level players because what it does is double everybody's health and puts all your cooldowns next to nothing so that you can just spam away and really have fun and have room to learn what all the different combinations of abilities do because oftentimes in a game in the heat of battle it seems like you don't really have many options to react to the things going on and you have to the learning curve is very strict in that way in the regular game, but this with so many abilities being spammed everywhere and uh, so much HP that nothing's dying, you, you have, it's very forgiving so that you, you don't necessarily have to feel the stress of a regular game environment to try things out. I think that new user experience is something that Blizzard could improve on because there seems to be a general consensus of what a lot of players assume would be common sense about team compositions and how the game should be played. But in reality, as soon as the other team starts to do goofy things on you, like non-standard things, you have to react in a very heavy-handed way with your team composition, otherwise you'll have a hard time. This is something I'll be teaching with videos to come, but something you might be able to get a better handle on playing in a less intense environment, where people are purposefully going for cheesy compositions. The thing about Overwatch is even in the real game, cheesy compositions work if they aren't countered by your enemy team. So head on in there, weekly brawl it up, flex your muscles, and at least get a basic understanding of the character's abilities, so that when you go into a real game, I say a real game, how condescending, of me and you're up against something that you know can be countered by a hero that you're less familiar with at least you can go into it with a little bit of experience with the basic mechanics of that hero that's it for me today i've been frito for your overwatch i'll see you guys next time